Wear a mask or move to another classroom. The Waukee School District is about to start a new policy. And it only applies to several classrooms where there are health concerns. KCCI's Andrew Mullenbeck is live outside one of the schools where families have a decision to make. Andrew? Stephen Stacy, we're outside Woodland Hills Elementary. Now, students and their parents in a second grade class here have a decision to make. Starting next week, they'll either have to mask up or transfer to a different classroom. The Waukee Community School District opted for a more individualized approach rather than a mask mandate for all 12,000 students. The result of that, five classrooms in four different schools will be fully masked starting next week. Julie Welch has a son in a second grade class and the family chose a different classroom over wearing a mask. I am vaccinated. I am not anti-mask. Um, I am anti not having a choice for my individual situation and my family. Um, so I'm just struggling with being forced into something that either direction I go really doesn't work for us. School Superintendent Brad Buck says the precautions in select classrooms will likely continue through the end of the semester. We're now at the point in that process where we have some families that based on the individual needs of their uh, child, um, we're uh, moving towards masked sections at a school. For Welch, one of the issues was the timeline. Families had about a day to make a decision. There was a little lack of communication. I felt like it was pretty vague. Um, the timing of it, we had to make a decision within 24 hours, which I think is really tough. Um, and his new placement would start next week. Buck says the new policy was part of a school board decision last month, but he acknowledges communication could have been better. I think it would be fair to say that it probably was a surprise to families because while we've said this was a, uh, a potential outcome, to have it sort of happen, I'm sure probably felt that way to some. Now this new policy will stand for another 70 days after the point in which kids are eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine. We're reporting live tonight, Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.